It's been a long time coming, bro. It's been a long, long, long time coming. I think uh, from the rise of social media over the years, over the last 10, 15, 20 years, has obviously done a number on, on things, but uh, men are finally realizing right now what, what needs to be done. Like, there's only so much you can experience, bro. There's only so much you can go through before you understand what kind of shape this world's actually in, what's out there. And uh, men had a false version of women in their minds for such a long time, and it's becoming more and more and more of a reality. And honestly, it's at a point now where social media is starting to show people even more of the truth. YouTube is doing it. I'm doing it on YouTube. There's so many other people doing it on YouTube. There's TikToks of actual things happening. There's footage of actual things happening. Men are starting to see true colors. So if you don't have a false version of, let's say, women in your head, you will start to understand that there's nothing better you can do as a man then focus on yourself. It's not about her. It's about you focusing on yourself and it's about you having a standard and it's about you accepting what you want to accept and declining what you want to decline. It is a man's world. Joe Rogan has talked about 60% of men being single. That is a ridiculous number. Like ridiculous, huge. And I only see that number increasing, sadly, not decreasing. Um, many young men are overlooked, even if they're good. Because I know plenty of young, uh, young fellas around where I'm from. There's nothing wrong with them, bro. They're as good as they possibly can be for their age. People just aren't dating for real when they're young anymore. People used to get together at like 16 years old and they're still married to this day. Like my aunt and uncle. It's 50 year anniversary last October. Together at 16. 50 year anniversary. That kind of stuff doesn't even exist anymore. It's non-existent. Maybe less than 1% of people could ever pull that off in today's economy, in today's society. But there's many young men that, bro, they want relationships, they want families, they want women. But in the eyes of women, they don't really want that right away. They want to party. They want to mess around. They want to go after their careers. They want to do all those things. And going after your career, there's nothing wrong with that. But there's no excuse to not pick a man. There's no excuse. They make excuses to stay single. They make excuses nowadays to be promiscuous. They make excuses nowadays to do bad, unacceptable behavior. They just don't want to be labeled the bad things, but the bad things is what they actually are. They don't want to be called a 304. They don't want to be called those things, but their actions show that. Nothing I can do about it. Nothing any of you can do about it. There's nothing they can do about it. Your actions dictate who you become. Your actions dictate who you are. And from the actions of people in modern society, this is why this number is so effing big and will continue to rise because being promiscuous is being normalized. The corn industry, the P-O-R-N industry is becoming more normalized, bro. Like, what is going on? It used to be deemed so bad. You don't ever put that on your phone. You don't ever put that on a computer. Don't ever watch that. And now, you see these individuals all over the place, these scruffy, dirty individuals, bro, on big podcasts and everything else, and young people seeing that, and they go to school, and they think it's all right to be that way and do those things, and oh my goodness, it's not. It is not okay to do those things whatsoever 
and it's not in the eyes of God. Promiscuity is a sin. Promiscuity, you will see. So, young men aren't wanted. Men who are older who aren't that successful aren't even wanted. There's so many men who aren't wanted. And there's a lot of women today, bro, that's not wanted either. It's not just about the men. 60% plus of men today are single. But a lot of women are too. I don't know the percent on that. I can't say because I don't know the number right now. I might try to figure that out, but I don't know the exact number. And I do know, though, there's a load of women who are single today. And they're going to have a very hard time because they did not do life right. We have one life, guys. And if you don't do it right, whose fault is that? Whose problem is it? We all have choices. We all choose to do the things we do. And there's consequences for your actions, either for the good or the bad. So that is on yourself. Um, the difference between men and women is men can mess up for a little bit, but they can get it back together and become successful and be attractive and be a valuable man. But Women, on the other hand, there's a, there's a very short time frame. You have to get it right. And if you don't, the odds significantly go up that you never will. And I don't say that out of any other reason than it's just what happens. It's the facts. And we can't get away from the facts because facts tell the truth. Um, it's clearly a problem, though, in this world today, bro. What is going on? And not enough men want to become. Not enough men want to do the work that's required to become a man. And it takes time. It takes time to become a man. It takes time to gain that experience. It takes time to be that dominant and sure of yourself and confident in everything else. It takes time to know exactly what you're doing. You have to go through hardships. You have to get beaten to your knees and build yourself back up and have experience in certain fields and gain as much knowledge and experience as you can to become the most well-rounded, useful, successful man that you possibly can. That is when you're going to feel a lot more whole as a man because, bro, let's, let's think about it like this. You go from a young kid, you're supposed to be a kid. You're supposed to have fun. You're supposed to learn new things and have fun and try stuff. And if you fail, it's okay because you're a kid. That's fine and dandy. But when you go from that to then a teenager to then a young adult, things start to turn ugly real quick for every young adult who is a man. It's not that way for women. It is that way for men. You have to transition fast. You have to take your life seriously fast and start to become the most valuable man that could possibly exist within yourself to hold any weight, to have any value, even if you're just good looking, bro, is not good enough. If you have looks on your side, but you're inexperienced as a man, you don't have resources, you're not working hard, you're not disciplined, you're not dedicated, you're done. Even if you were Mr. Sporty Sport, bro, because I know people like that, bro, that I went to high school with now, before, I know them now. They are nothing. They're done. They peaked in high school as like a kid. They became an adult and they crumbled. It's because it's a whole different ballgame. It's no longer like a game. It's real life. And real life oftentimes makes a lot of people crumble because you have to go from that younger kid that can just have fun, not take life so seriously and stuff like this to then taking life seriously to becoming a well-rounded man who can do just about everything. And it's funny that I say that because I remember, bro, when a, when a switch flipped in my mind, I remember the day like it was yesterday, I turned 19 and I was driving in my car after I left the bro's house. There was a bunch of us there. I left and I was driving off and the sun was starting to come down. It was still like bright, but the sun was starting to come down. 
it was probably about 7.30 or 8 p.m. And um, I just looked out the side of the window and I kept driving. I just thought to myself, like, I'm 19 now. Like, I feel like, like I'm a, I'm a man now. Like, and look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing. I'm 19 now. I gave myself that accountability. I always held myself accountable, bro. Always. I'm 19 now. Look at what I'm doing. Am I going to continue to be 20, 21, 22, 23 and continue to take actions in my life that is not making me a better man? The answer is no. It was a easy no. So here I go. I'm going to get super dedicated in the gym. I'm going to hit a whole other level. I'm going to be focused. I have to become the best man I can be. That was my mentality since 19. Like, the first day of being 19, and I was already being more disciplined from about 18 and a half until 19. I just hit a new level. Who does that, bro? How many, how many men that are that young think that way? Most men don't think nothing about even turning 19. They just, they just keep living how they were, like nothing really changes. It's just an age. But to me, it was more than just an age. I'm a man now. Look at my actions. Is this lining up for me to become the best man I can be? No, it's not. So let's do that, no? We should probably do that, no? We should probably get more serious, no? So we can be the best man we can be. Yes. Yes, you should. So around that age, up until your early 20s, it's going to be some tough years. It's gonna to be tough. You have to be disciplined, you have to be focused, it's gonna be hard. You have to go through that <clears throat> and you have to continue to build yourself as a man up to 25 and then from 25 to 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and you have to build yourself up, bro. It's the only way you're gonna be happy with yourself. It's the only way you won't be in the category of being a 60% single man or in a big category as a woman if a woman is single as an older woman. You don't want to be in those categories. And if you are right now, there's nothing to stress about. The only thing you should be stressing about is the actions you continue to take in your own life today. That is the only thing you should stress about. And if you're stressing because... You don't feel right and shit. You're not doing enough. You're not doing the right things. Because if you were, you wouldn't be stressed. I will tell you that full well right now. If you're taking the right actions in your life, if you're disciplined, if you're working hard, if you're on your goals, if you're focused on building stuff, you wouldn't be stressed. You wouldn't feel empty. You wouldn't feel like your life just is nothing. You would go to bed at night knowing damn well you did enough. Knowing damn well... You took the right actions. That's what would happen. But you keep living every day. You just feel like something's not right. Things ain't right in my life. Things ain't this. Things ain't that. I don't feel right. It's because of your actions. If you were a man or a woman, that's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is, bro. Do you not think women are getting older, the ones that are single and they're second guessing themselves and they're starting to trip out and they're starting to be paranoid? Yes. Yes. The same thing with men. I say this because there's countless amounts of women over the years that have told me that. And it's what happens. I know women in real life who have told me that before. It happens. Second guessing yourself comes down to you. There's something you did that was not right. Because you wouldn't second guess yourself if you were doing all the right things and making all the right moves. And yeah, nobody's perfect, but guess what? You have to learn. You have to learn and you have to start doing the right things. It's about being self accountable. You hold yourself accountable. The day I turned 19, I held myself effing accountable. I'm 19 now. 
look what I'm doing. I'm hanging out with, with, with the bros and it's nothing special. That's what we did when we were kids, but guess what? It's time to move on now. That was the mentality. That's what happened. That's what I did. On to greatness. The next chapter, because guess what? If you look back, there's a different chapter every time you look back. I entered a different chapter for this whole last year of my life. It was great. One of the, probably the best chapter of my life. In fact, for sure, the best chapter of my life. The past year up till now was the best year of my life. By far. By far. And we're going to keep that ball rolling. That's the goal. It's about to be a whole other chapter from now until the next year. It's going to be a whole other chapter. And I'm looking very forward to it. And guess what, bro? Or ladies, whatever chapter you're in right now, find a way to look forward to it. If you're a man and you're far behind in work, look forward to going to the trenches right now and putting your nose down like a Belgian Malinois and getting it done, bro. Look forward to that. Do the things you have to do and look forward to it. I don't care how hard it is. I don't care how not hard it is. But whatever it is, it should be pretty hard, to be honest. Look forward to it. Find a way to look forward to the grind. That's what I did during all my grindiest years. Grimiest years. I found a way to get up and to look forward to it. I found a way to motivate myself. And I didn't always feel motivated, but I found a way to motivate myself, which means I was disciplined. I was determined. I had a fire inside. Ain't no way I don't go on and do what I'm going to do. Ain't no way. The fire is what's important. It's not about your skills naturally. It's about your fire. It's about your determination. It's about you getting after it in life and doing the things you have to do as a man and not letting anything else get in the way of that. You can do those things, bro. Or if you're a lady, if you do things in a different way and become the best woman you can be, you will not be in this top percent of single people. You're, you're gonna have major value you're going to be wanted by many, but you're not going to want many. That's why you're going to be patient and you're going to pick someone who is good for you. And you're going to grow together. That ain't going to be perfect. It's going to take work, but y'all's going to grow together. Y'all's going to communicate. Y'all's going to be on point. Y'all's going to do life right. Things are so overly complicated today, bro. And, and these numbers are as high as it is because people are hella delusional. People are so delusional and stubborn and mad at themselves and angry because they're not doing the work. I'd be mad too if I didn't make the decisions I made in the past. I'd be pissed too. But guess what? I made the right decisions. I worked. Whether I felt like it or not, I can try, bro. I grabbed my balls. I don't care how uncomfortable this is. I'm going to do it. That's what needs to be done. It's about that fire. It's about that determination. It's about taking no prisoners. It's about becoming a well-rounded man, being proud of yourself, accomplishing, doing the things that you're supposed to do. That's what it's about. That's when you will get rewarded. Things will go your way, brother. It's just about living that life. And getting the most precious things that comes with life is what makes life worth living for. It's not about being delusional. It's not about being stubborn and half mentally cooked. It's about being self-aware. It's about being self-accountable. It's about correcting yourself. It's about doing the work. It's about understanding things to a deeper level so nobody ends up in a top percentage category, which nobody should be in, but so many people are today because they're so delusional and stubborn and lazy and unfocused and unmotivated and undisciplined. 
the only person that's going to get you up to do everything that you're supposed to do is yourself. Yourself is to blame if you don't go on in life and do those things. Point black period. Nobody told me what to do. Not one human being alive. In fact, it was the opposite. You have losers around you trying to get you to not be that guy. You got to get rid of them. Get out of here. Because I know who I am and I know what I'm going to do. You guys have to be smart enough to be everything that you have to be. You have to be smart enough, bro. It's all on you. You have to be smart enough. You have to see this shit. You have to see it. You have to get after it. I have to do this. I have to do that. This is who I am right now, but it's not who I am. I know I can do better. I have to do this. I have to be more disciplined here. Whatever it is. That's what it has to be. And this is why I help so many people on calls. Because I understand in every individual's life, where they're at, where they're going, I can direct them in the right direction. Because I direct it myself. I understand the process. I've been there and I've gone through it and I've came out on top. And you can never just think, oh, I'm on top. Cross your arms like somebody from Ghoul. You can never think that way. I never think that way. Every day is a new day. And I'm going to get after it every day. That is how this shit goes. That is what we will do. And with that being said, God willing, God bless. We'll see y'all at the top.